हेलो एवरी वन सो अराउंड टू ईयर्स अगो आई थिंक आई मेड अ वीडियो ऑन डब्ल्यू थ्री एम विच इज बेसिकली अ ब्राउजर नॉट अ ब्राउजर इट इज अ ब्राउजर बट इट इज अ टर्मिनल बेस्ड ब्राउजर एंड आई वॉज बेसिकली ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वट वट डब्ल्यू थ्री एम इज एंड इट एक्चुअली वर्क नाइसली एंड आई बी ऑनस्ट विद यू आई हैव नेवर रियली लाइक यूज इट फॉर कंज्यूमिंग कॉन्टेंट आई मीन आई I, I sometimes open uh, some simple websites within my Emacs because Emacs can do that. But at the same time, when we talk about uh, W3M, which is like a terminal-based browser, you of course don't really need uh, Emacs. And uh, I made a video on this uh, around uh, two years ago, and I showed you how to use it. It is actually very simple, uh, term terminal-based app. You can of course look at the manual, and you can see here uh, different. uh things that you can uh, do with the uh, w3m for example uh, to, to to open a website all you need to do you need to simply do w3m right and uh, just enter the name of the or the url of the site which is let us say ravi.pro like a, my my simple blog which is opened on the right hand side it looks quite quite decent and uh, you can of course use arrow arrow keys to up, go go up and down or you can use page up page down or you can use tab to go through the uh, go through these different or basically navigate uh, these links and press enter it will open the blog and if i go to the same uh, listing on my browser my brave bro my brave browser you of course have uh, the same uh, like because for me uh, because it's a simple site it works quite nicely for example if i'm looking at this toc and i want if i want to let us say go to composer install composer it will take me directly to the uh, actual uh, actual part using the anchor so to of course try something a bit more complicated you can of course open try of course try to open google.com right it will work it will definitely work and uh, you can uh, let us say search for ravi sagar and uh, google search it will it will do the search for you it 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 is not i mean it it works nicely and sometimes the images are also displayed uh not i, I mean it's not really the, the the best user experience but it kind of works i don't really as i mentioned before i sometimes use it try it for fun for trying something uh, new but i don't really i mean by default if i have to search online i do it on my on on my browser if i'm trying to consume the content and i think there are a few more things that you can do with this i believe if you pass in here num hyphen num it will display line number this can be useful right this is definitely uh, something that you may want to look at and uh, i i i thought i'll probably share this because uh, although you you might think that yes it is a it is a terminal based application and uh, it may seem simple but sometimes doing things on terminal uh, will help you uh, to i mean if you if you are able to customize it further or maybe if you are looking for something uh, that that doesn't really require uh, looking at the images as long as you have the text uh which you are trying to read i think this will work nicely for example if i am trying to read a, a document on my ravi.pro site i mean it it could be it could be just a simple text that i want to read like uh, n- n- nothing but an article and that, that is all i care about so i think in those cases this will work uh for sure and usually i if if i have to because i i usually have an i usually have emacs open somewhere on my i mean whenever i start my computer i the first thing i do i start emacs because when i start emacs it also starts emacs server and i whenever i try to open anything i use emacs client to open that file using that session that i already have open so i can always you know use emacs to browse things which again i don't really do it i mean i'm still looking for use cases how i can uh, Uh, adopt terminal based browsers the, 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 of course w3m is one uh, emacs can also do that using uh, eww i believe i believe and uh, 
uh, and Emacs web browser, I guess it's a weird name, but uh, I don't really think I have a need or any specific desire to to, to only use terminal for browsing uh, because I have never really used it for uh, like consuming content in, co content in reality because Brave, Brave is, to, uh, to be honest, Brave is always open. Uh, and usually if you are uh, not using, I think if you're using, let, let us say any Linux based distribution with Windows Manager, then uh, you can anyways, uh, you know, you will you will most likely have some browser but maybe maybe if you are one of those people who 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 lives or maybe want to live within terminal or maybe you don't really have for some reason access to a window manager then i think in those cases this might work this might definitely be one useful utility uh, i don't really remember installing w3m i i might have installed it but it is usually there in all the repositories and uh, the thing i like about w3m is that it, it is quite straightforward so you don't have to basically uh, learn something or even read the manual you just start using it like use arrow keys use page up page down enter to um, navigate that particular link and uh, images don't really work for some reason I i'm sure i'm missing something i mean the images work but uh, it is not uh, always nicely displayed. Anyways, I, I thought I'll probably show you W3M uh, today because uh, in case you're looking for a simple terminal based browser, maybe maybe try it or maybe let me know if, if you have a better suggestion for terminal based browser uh, because I'm yet to adopt it for my web content consumption. Alright, that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today. Thank you. Bye-bye.